sometimes Super Smash Bros. fans, just a, a segment of them, can be the absolute worst. I mean, am I living in a in an alternate reality right now? Is Smash Bros. not the most popular fighting game of all time? Why do we have to be ungrateful little biatches? I mean, someone just slap me. Slap me again. Why do things like this have to exist? Why do fans need to be so ungrateful? Because that's what I kind of feel right now. I feel like there is a sub-segment, not all Smash fans, but a sub-segment that is just very unappreciative of what this game is. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate has sold 20 plus million copies, and yet every single time a new character gets added, there's always some controversy. Sometimes there's some, you know, jubilee, hello, uh, people were pretty happy when Banjo-Kazooie got added, caught people off guard, Microsoft owned, but then people get bitchy when someone like Byleth gets added, you know, the main character from Fire Emblem Three Houses, the most recent Fire Emblem game, it's really popular. And yeah, Masahiro Sakurai has come out and admitted in the past that, you know, maybe there are a few too many Fire Emblem characters. But at the same point, he also said it's not really in his control. Nintendo chooses the characters in the game. So, okay, so people stop getting mad at Sakurai about it. Instead, fans have decided to take matters into their own hand because a lot of people feel like there's too many Fire Emblem characters in Smash. So why not release a mod called No More Fire Emblem that deletes all the Fire Emblem content from the game? Why? Just because they think it, make, it, they, they think it makes it better? I mean, maybe it's meant to be a meme. I don't know. This image up here on the screen here is actually officially from the mod. Um, that's you know probably not in the mod. I think it's just giving an example. But they deleted all the Fire Emblem content, right? It's a mod you can download with Super, to play with Super Smash Bros. Ultimate that gets rid of content. Uh, it gets rid of eight Fire Emblem characters. It gets rid of all the stages and all the music. I don't have any footage of it because I don't care to play it. I don't know why you would want to cut content from a game. I guess out of protest. Is that is that what fans are trying? Are they trying to protest Super Smash Bros. Ultimate eight characters? I mean, here's the thing. It's not even the franchise that has the most characters in the game. Why are we not bitching about Mario? Oh, is it because Mario's the mascot? So it's understandable that Mario has nine characters in the game? What about Pokemon? Pokemon's got eight characters. The same amount as Fire Emblem. Why are we not bitching about that? Oh, we all know why people are bitching. Because basically every single Fire Emblem character is a sword user. Because, like, that's one of the primary weapons in Fire Emblem. Is swords. I fail to see what the problem is. I get it, all right? Obviously, with the roster with the 80-plus characters, and you have, you know, a huge section dedicated to sword characters, a lot of sword characters in the game, not just um, Fire Emblem. Obviously, we have Zelda characters and all that. The point is, yeah, there's a lot of sword users in Smash, but who cares? Why do we have to fundamentally care so much that we need to release a mod that, by the way, I don't encourage anyone uses natively on their Switch, uh, there has been uh, proven uh, things in the past where even when you're using a hacked switch, uh, at, you know, in playing games, you know, legally, of course, uh, that when you add mods to it, sometimes it will brick your switch. So I'm not saying you should run this. Obviously, people are probably running this through emulators and all that on computers, and that's you know their own prerogative. I'm not here to tell you um, how to do that and, and and try to promote piracy in this way. I I do think though, however, that there is an interesting discussion to be having around the fact that fans complain so much that something like this even exists in the first place. I don't get it. I've never gotten it. I always felt like every time I watch a Smash character reveal and I just see the live comments either, you know, mostly just bitching because they didn't get the character they wanted or when Byleth was announced, my God, the backlash over Byleth. I don't understand it. I fundamentally don't get it. Don't buy DLC packs before the characters are revealed. Let's start with that. If you are unhappy with the collection of characters in one of these DLC fighter passes, don't buy the fighter pass. Why are we pre-buying fighter passes before you know what's in it? Okay? And then when you're buying these characters individually, don't buy them if they're not characters you want. I don't... Why are we like this? Can someone explain this to me? Am I missing something here? What is the big deal? Why do we have to hit delete on Fire Emblem in a mod to try to please part of the fan base? 
I understand. This is a fan mod. It's ultimately irrelevant. Nintendo's not doing this. Play the game. Enjoy it. It's not official. I Fine. But it makes me just highlight things I dislike about gaming communities at times. And in this case, the Smash gaming community. It's ridiculous to me. This whole thing is ridiculous. The fact that I'm making a video on this is absolutely ridiculous. In fact, you know what? You might as well just turn this into MTV, where all we do is play ridiculousness 24 hours a day, 365 days a week, because it's the goddamn only thing they can play. They can't play any classic shows. God damn it, MTV. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? <laughs> See? This whole this whole fan mod thing's making me making me go crazy over here. Guys, I'm losing my mind that this is even a thing. I love Fire Emblem. Because of a fan mod like this, you know what I hope? I hope the next two characters added to Smash, the last two, assuming there's no more fighter passes in the future. I hope they're Fire Emblem characters. In fact, I want a counter mod. You modding community, I want you to go out there. What is this? Look at that. Someone attacking me? What is this? Look, I want the modding community to go out there now and make a counter mod to No More Fire Emblem where they replace every character in the game with just Fire Emblem characters. Make it happen. We need a counter to this. I am calling on the Smash Bros. modding community. Let's make a counter mod and make all 80 characters Fire Emblem characters. I've been begging for Nintendo to just keep announcing Fire Emblem characters just to piss off fans. There's eight of them. There's eight Pokemon characters. You don't bitch about Pokemon. You don't bitch about Mario that has nine. Stop bitching about Fire Emblem. It's a franchise Nintendo cares about. It's a franchise that sells. It's a franchise that is increasing in popularity. Get over yourselves. Stop acting entitled. And if you want to use this mod, whatever, I'll put a link down in the description. I mean, it's only fair that you see that this mod's real, at least. <sighs> all right, all right, all right. Let's <sighs> enter the giveaway. If you enjoyed this video, hit like. Uh, if you didn't like it, that's okay. Um, it, it, it's sort of pointless. It's just bitching to bitch. Uh, so kind of like the Smash Bros community. So I guess I'll just catch you guys in the next video.